Parkinson's disease. It slows the body and really only gets worse over time. Now, most patients also have a symptom called freezing of gait, where a person just can no longer walk. But as John Langler explained, some new technology is helping trick minds into walking again. Part of living with Parkinson's can in time mean losing independence, in particular the ability to walk. A possible solution could help patients remain mobile when the body refuses. Walter Dixon was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease in 2019. My problem is, is uh, freezing of movement and, and trouble getting started. You know, I can, I get, once I get going, I'm good to go sometimes. And, mm -hmm. And if you, if you, the old adage about can't walk chew gum, if I start chewing a stick of gum, I may stop, you know, really, literally. It's called freezing of the gait, and it's defined as a sudden onset of immobility. It's a place I freeze constantly is doorways. And uh, it's very embarrassing to me to be, to be that obvious in public, you know, I don't like it at all. The reason that it happens is because of a specific neural pathway in the brain that gets damaged or disconnected. That makes it so that when your brain is sending that signal to initiate movement, that signal just doesn't get to the motor neuron that are activating your muscles. Sydney Collins started Deoro Devices. She wanted to create a device which uses the same visual and audio cues as physical therapists. It gives me something to look at, so to speak. Uh, it triggers my brain to, to uh, look down at the laser and try and put my foot through it or kick it. Mm -hmm. Like that, step into it. Yeah. Gives me something to step towards. And then in addition, what that does helps to trigger my thinking towards, you know, I listen to that and I think to myself, step. Step, step, look at the laser step, step, and away I go. It's encouraging for Colin. I had read about the impact. I knew logically that these visual and auditory cues worked, but seeing it happen was a whole different thing. And life changing for Dixon. So it helps steady me, it helps me to, uh, to walk, give me the courage to do a lot of things I wouldn't be doing now. Technology making a difference one step at a time. John Langler, live, local, now.